and welcome back to my channel. This is day six in the bathroom update makeover video series that I'm doing. If you haven't seen what I've been up to then go back and have a look at the previous few videos which will just show you what I've been doing to my bathroom to try and give it a makeover for the last time. I hope this is the last time I make over my bathroom for many years to come. I ran out of lining paper the other day so I decided to order some more and I've had to wait a few days for that anyway so I just kind of needed a break out of the bathroom so I've had a few days off. Um, one or two actually, I don't even know if it's been two. Anyway, one or two days off and now I'm back to get some progress done on this bathroom. I really want to see progress today. So I'm waiting for the order of the lining paper to come. It may come a bit later on this afternoon. I finally bought some beading to go around the edges of the bathroom flooring which will hopefully make that look really really neat. This is actually a really really nice shade of one that I got from B&Q which will really blend in with the flooring that I have in there, the vinyl flooring. I think the colour is just like yeah blends in really really well which is nice. So I've got a few lengths of that that I need to cut to size and stick that down with no more nails. Definitely not using actual nails, just no more nails glue will do me for this I think. That'll hopefully make the floor just look a little bit nicer, look a little bit more done. So yeah to assist with putting this beading in place and cutting it to size I have done this out of my garage a little saw um, hopefully that's strong enough to cut through this and yeah I have a slight problem with doing corners I'm not very good at doing corners so I may just do quite a botched job of that so don't worry about that just ignore that um, my corners won't be neat I may do one more coat of this white grout pen on the tiles just to whiten it up a little bit because I'm trying to cover grey grout that I've previously done with a pen. So I'm trying to cover that so I think it just needs one more coat on the main section. Yeah, that's kind of all I've got to do until the lining paper arrives and then, then I'll get on with that basically. I've just got all the fiddly sections to do. We started the other day and we did like good chunks of the wall like easy bits and then oh now I've got to do the harder bits which I'm a little bit nervous about but I'm sure it'll be okay. I have decided because I, I, I thought I was going to wallpaper the whole entire room but now I've kind of changed my mind and I think I'm going to do wallpaper on two of the walls which are far, which is far away from the bath. I just had a few concerns about maybe it not being great wallpaper in the bathroom. I don't know. Anyway so I'm going to wallpaper two of the walls or one of the walls away from the bath and then I'm going to paint the rest of it. So I have picked up a few paint samples which I shall show you now. I think I'm warming towards the white mist um, just to give that a little bit of colour but not too much colour in here. Seeing as most of the walls are going to have to be painted and I'm only going to be able to do this on one of the walls, this one here. So I've done the first length of beading across here and I've had to weigh it down with some heavy things I could find around the house just to keep it in place while the glue dries, otherwise yeah you're sat there for ages. <laughs> the long bits are just awkward to do because if you push one end down the other end seems to just like to pop up again. It's getting closer every dawn. Ooh, we are dreamers of the
always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point. Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. Oh, so because I've decided this is one of the walls that's going to be painted, I'm trying not to get a gap now um, between the wallpaper pieces so that it's smooth. But I think with a couple of coats of whatever I'm going to put on, I think you won't see the lines anyway. But do you know what? It's going to be 100% better than what was underneath there, so... I think it's good. I think it's good. I it it's good. You're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong Amazingly, I now have one full wall completely lined with white paper. Gosh, it looks brighter in this room now. Fresh and bright. that bit but I was too stressed about doing it to be honest I was just so stressed don't even know how I just managed to do that but I don't think I'm going to be capable of doing it with paper that needs to be like so perfect at the edges um so I, I don't know I really lean in towards just painting that wall it's just such a shame that it will only be this wall that will have the funky paper on because I'd really like it to go onto this wall but we'll see how the rest of this wall goes with the lining paper and see if I'm brave enough to do the actual wallpaper on it Smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Ooh, we are dreamers of the shore when we can't read the sky.
I literally just thought I'd finished. I really thought I'd finished everything. And then I just realized I'd forgotten to do by the window. Oh, most fiddly bit. There we go, missions absolutely completed for the day. I feel like I've made so much progress, which is exactly what I wanted. But oh my gosh, my shoulders are absolutely killing me. That was really difficult. Really, really difficult. Don't advise you do that. That was hard. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> I really didn't like that. It was really difficult. Oh, so yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you in my next video tomorrow or the next day well I might have to leave it a couple of days actually just to let that lining paper really really dry and then I will get some paint and get on with painting all of the walls apart from one which I'm going to wallpaper thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs> bye, bye.